Well, hello everyone. Back again with a video about my Maverick Timberwolf. It seems okay. I've sorted this uh, electronic speed controller out. Um, I'll do a video on it, explain more in detail how this works in terms of setup. It was a bit awkward to understand, but once you do understand it, you get the idea of it. But um, yeah, it seems okay so far. It's got a nice bit of punch out of it. Running this standard 4000 kV motor. All we've done to it so far, we've had a couple of runs. Seems okay. All we've done to it so far is I've uh, put these anti-roll bars on, on the back there. See one there. And I've put, obviously, the front one there. So I don't know if you can see that too well, using my mobile phone. What we've got it apart for today is, um, this morning rather, is uh, I'm going to be changing the shock oil. I don't really know where to start. It seems quite tough as it is, but uh, I haven't got very many left. So my options are limited. We'll see how we get on with it. I'm just going to give it a go. Uh, it was a bit of a pest to sort these anti-roll bars out because uh, well let's try to find one better probably mm, still probably won't be able to see mm, not too well not without taking it apart again mm. well well anyway so you've got the screws the two screws at the front there with the little plastic bit that goes over the middle of it to hold it in place there at the front but it still had a bit of play in it, it slid left to right so to prevent that they gave you um, like a little knuckle with a screw 1.5mm screw thread in it that goes right in the middle and you had to run that run that around from there which was straight then run it around here and it seemed quite stupid to me, but the only way to deal with that was to draw on this lovely bit of board a template to what it was originally. Then I had to take this corner, or a corner, bend this bit out straight, slide the bit that's got to go in the middle, end up here in the middle, slide that over there to get it on in the middle and then try and bend this back into shape so that's why I drew this there it come out alright in the end but here we go what we got so we've got the standard spring that's the original spring it seems, it seems a bit on the tough side a lot of spring action there and uh, not much damper action going on there either so uh, what we're going to do we ain't got much in the way of oils but we'll give it a go need some more so we've got uh, 25 weight, it says 250 but that's actually a 25, I think they're going to be too light for the back. Oh yeah, we've got one nosy cat that cost me an arm and a leg. Uh, that's 50, it says 500 but it's 50. 400, that's going to be a 40 weight. 450, that's going to be a 45 weight, that's uh, a little dribble left in there, that's a 45 weight, mm, that's a 60 weight, so a little bit of a 25, so I'm going to give that a go and see how we get on, I'll let you know how it all goes.